and welcome back to the channel on this video as I zoom around on the Lyric Graffiti I thought I'd talk about something that's well it's, it's come up because it's warm today so uh, here we are uh, just getting into the end of April here as we get into the month of May very shortly uh, the temperature here today right now is a very nice 75 degrees so it got me thinking what is too hot to ride your e-bike is there a temperature that you say oh i'm not going out in that you know it could be 90 degrees it could be 80 degrees is there a point where you say it's too warm because i find that riding around on a bike you can kind of, I think as long as you're moving and not stopped, I think you can, you get a little bit fanned by the, uh, the ride, right? You get fanned by the air as you're riding along. So I think you can go up a little hotter than you would normally do, like just walking, say. So I don't know if it's, some people may say, well, I can go all the way up to 100. I remember, I should mention, I remember myself riding a few years ago. We had a really warm, the warmest ever. Uh, I know recorded in the city of Portland. I'm in Oregon here, and I'm in the uh, King City Tigard area. So I remember somebody, or I remember the, the, the city, the temperature being in Portland, 116 they broke the all-time record for the warmest day and i rode my e-bike that day not very far i just rode it to and from work and um i don't know if i rode it any like after that that day i don't think i did i think i just actually i think i did because i, I think well, no, I can't remember if I did a video. I probably did do a video because I do one pretty much every day. So, I, but um, that's the warmest day I can remember. But I wouldn't want to ride very far, a few miles or something maybe. But I wouldn't go crazy on. I wouldn't want to go too crazy on that, but. I wanted to get by that noisy situation there but yeah what I mean I don't know for me I guess it probably like I said depends on how far I'm riding I wouldn't want to ride a 30 or 40 mile ride or something in temperatures in the 90s for me a comfortable ride is like it is right now this is a good temperature when you're riding along 75 that's perfect I'd say anywhere you want to stay in the 70s really probably the 80s it does start to get warmer but for me I guess the 70s especially like mid 70s is probably about the, the perfect uh, temperature but what say you uh, do you have limits that you say uh, you're not going out there I'm not even sure on uh, how it affects our bikes if it gets too hot. Like it does it. I'm sure it is not good for the bike if it's too hot in the motor, the battery. But luckily here we don't get a lot of humidity in this area uh, being in the west as opposed to the east and the south they get more humidity but I could take 
uh, this kind of weather every day of the week and this is uh, really nice. Check out the regen braking. If you ever have a chance to get regenerative, regenerative brakes on your bike, go for it. It's awesome. I'm going to give you a couple of more demonstrations here. Nice and smooth. The only time I have to hit the uh, brake levers is if I want to stop more sudden because regenerative braking doesn't stop you suddenly like on a dime or anything but it it slows the motor down there pretty quickly though as you can see right there but uh, if I had to stop more suddenly then I just grab the, uh, the hand levers Uh, this is a nice time of year when everything is coming up Everything's blooming Leaves are back on the trees. Gotta love it Here's the test of the regen brakes As long as you don't have to stop suddenly real suddenly then regen braking will sure save your brake pads that was all regen braking right there So that's a quick ride in the nice sunny 75 degree weather so let me know in the comments below what is your cutoff for warm temperatures to ride your bike And uh, that's going to do it for this video. And if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much for doing that. Just hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. Once again, thank you for joining me on this beautiful spring day for this ride, and until next time. Keep your wheels on the road. See you later.